the unification of physics is completed. It has requested two corrections in two big misunderstandings. The first is about the relativity between energy resting and putting in action. The second is about all the physics units when they are dissociated in matter and antimatter. In the restricted relativity of Einstein, accepted that E equal mc2 affirms the equality between two forms of energy, static and dynamic, the total energy must be A divided by mc2 equal 1, and not only one of day 2, every other reason is pleonastic. In fact, all the energy of every matter is unified only multiplying it with the energy of the opposite antimatter. And if I say that matter is equal to antimatter in quantity, it is true one, but the unity of the energy is obtained by matter divided by antimatter equal one. Being matter and antimatter inverse quantities, if n, n not a definite number, n, if n is the number of the matter, n rise to minus one must be its antimatter. Well, if the antimatter is n rise to minus one, when we put it as one divided by n, we give the representation in the matter's form of the antimatter that in itself is n rise to minus one. Now, the matter one is the unification through concentration of the ten cycle in action as one divided by nine, where one is one advancement from zero to plus one, and plus nine is the minus one return from the ten cycle. Therefore, zero plus one multiplied by 10 minus 1 is all the expansion, 1 multiplied by 9, and its inverse, 1 divided by 9, is its inverse unity in the concentration of the one mass. And since in the restricted relativity the product between one mass m and c2 is not 9 but 8.98755 at uh, its size, there is an evident mistake. In fact, in the E equal mc2, all the energy does not refer to one electromagnetic volume advancing in the electric speed of the light, afterward squared since electric and magnetic also in its speed, but 
it refers only to a velocity that doesn't consider to belong to a volume. In fact, every line is without any reference if it is not referred to the exact section having that line of a flow. Always the necessity of the case extreme of the speed, always this necessity, one meters every second of speed doesn't refer to a mass if we do not consider the flow's section. I have one newton of force, therefore of mass, only if I refer the speed of one meter every second to the volume of one decimeter cubed of water at four degrees, but also 1000 newton advance for one meters every second if the section is of 100 units squared. To have ignored the electromagnetic unitary section of the light is the mistake that is made when E and MC2 are not put in their exact interaction. In fact, M equal E divided by C2, where the mass is equal to the energy, must be M equal E divided by 1. Only in this case the mass M and the energy have the same number. To have the same number C2 must be 1. And it is only when it is the minus 1 returning from the 10 cycle. So, 1 in its returning, it is the minus 1 of the interaction between plus 1 and minus 1, as the interaction between the action and its reaction. It is minus 1 of antimatter returning from the full cycle 10 containing the positive matter plus 1 advancing from 0. In the second misunderstanding, in the matters calculation, which refer to the units of the physics, if they are units, they must be one, containing N of matter, only on the base of N rise to minus one of antimatter only after having first known the greatness in kilogram of every unit n divided by n, throw multiplication between matter n and antimatter n rises to minus one. We must understand that the greater then that size 1 is the matter, 
made greater than one by the decimal quantities of the, the antimatter when it is represented in the unitary form of the matter. In few words, if we have 10.1, we have 10 of matter, more 10 raised to minus 1, 1 tenth of antimatter. It is like a real wave of matter, for example, matter of water, in which there are the 10 raised to plus 1 quantities up and the inverse 10 rises to minus 1 down with 10.1 of one water wave with count 10 of presence up the 10 line of balance more the same quantity latching as antimatter so it is easy to understand that the presence of matter is only 10 raised plus 1 in the unity of the wave made by 10 plus is inverse 10 raised to minus 1 in the alternating presence that characterizes every real wave. So, for a real, a real example, we consider the electron mass. Having first known that 10 raised to minus 51 kg is the unit of the atomic particle made by n divided n of matter and antimatter, the new of my unification is that its mass of matter is 9 multiplied 10 raised to minus 51 kilograms because, because of 1 ninth of its antimatter. But this, well knowing first again that one ninth, ninth is an absolute greatness that is counted only in the quantity 0. 1093897 at size 10 rise minus 51 kilograms since it is counted by the unitary bond great 0 0.0017217 at the same size of 10 raised to minus 51 kilograms, where 0 0.1093897.54, the quantity that today is added to the 9 in the electron mass, where this quantity, that is the antimatter in the matter's form, plus the bond of 0 0.0017215757 is equal to 0 0.1111111 equal 1 divided by 9 equal 9 raised to minus 1 of antimatter referred to 9 plus 1 
9 rise plus 1 of matter. The bond 0 point 0 0 0.001 7 21 55 7 is the first thousands of the unitary mass in 0 0.001 more 7 plus 21 that is 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 35 that is 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 5 times plus 7 they are the seven bonds of the sphere six as the bond of the normal system the orthogonal system plus one the bond of the same radius well one spheric bond at size 10 raised to minus 4 is the real one one only more three sphere bonds at the size 10 raised to minus 7 that are the mass 10 raised to 3 of moment more five sphere bonds at size 10 rise to minus 9 that of the energy of the 10 cycle in the five advancement four as the area and one as time finally more one spheric bond at the size 10 raised to minus 10 of the atomic unit. What is the importance of this unification made by me in Italian? What is the importance of this unification made really by me in Italy it is that finally we have the absolute equal total quantities of the physical units that today are always unitarily measured the unitary calculation is obtained always by one unit of the 10 of the cycle that is put as the unitary measurement to have the 9 remaining. This is the unitary calculation of the 10 cycle. The absolute quantity is 1 plus 9 equal 10. 10 is the cycle of every unit of the physics as it was fixed from the French Academy more than two centuries ago. What is the importance? That finally we have the absolute equal total quantities of the physical units and uh, for example 9 exact is uh, the particle atomic mass at uh, 10 raised to minus 31 kilograms 9 exact and not and no more 9 point one zero nine etc that thinking to have more precision 
put in addiction the antimatter to have the matter. It is horrible. 0 0.00054 is the atomic mass unit in the same particle mass in the atomic mass units. 16 exact is the, aton the atomic mass unit at the size of 10 raised to minus 28 kilograms. 96 exact is the Faraday constant at its size. 6, six exact is the X Avogadro number. Now of Amodeo number. We cannot name 6 the number that for Avogadro was not six. I say that it is six when we cut away the difference of the relative calculation. Three exact is the C speed at the size of 10 raised to 8 meters every second. 9 exact is the C2 as a speed electric C3 every one for metric C speed, magnetic C speed that is equal. 66 exact is the Planck's constant at the size 10 raised to minus 65 joule for second. This is proved in the astronomic year that is the complete turn of every mass contained in our planet. In fact, 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 10 is 6 components centripetal of the mass multiplied by 6 centrifugal of the expansion multiplied by 10 cycle and it is exactly 360. Afterward we have 7 plus 7 plus 7 divided by 4 as 5.25 that is the trinity of the movement of 10 minus 3 the volume in three components 7 plus 7 plus 7 divided by 4 since the time t is 1 between the four formed by x, y, z and t of the space-time. So 5.25 is added to 360 and makes exactly 365.15. Of zero, like the six hours when one day contains 24 hours. This number of 365.25 is referred to the unit of the mass and the unit of the mass is 10 raised to 3 is 1000 in absolute but we in the relative of one of those 1000 absolute units 
we have only 999 and they are 999 as 9 primes minutes plus 9 second minutes plus 9 third minutes equal to 0 0.54 seconds and this because of the decimal path of the flow is the Amodeo number 6 in the invisible transverse section so that it is 10 the path in 999 every number is in tenth in the line of the decimal flow but we have also six the Amodeo number six in the section because six multiplied ten is the 60 that is the time difference between prime minutes, second minutes and third minutes. So we have really the proof that we when we are considering the true absolute total numbers the year that is all the rotation of the mass contained in the earth make a year that is considering the unitary mass 10 rise to 3 as its unit and afterward the big quantity of 6 multiplied 6 multiplied the cycle 10 with the addition of the movement 7 plus 7 plus 7 that is referred to the time one quarter and since this calculation is perfect one all the physics became so easy in its calculation no more units always containing a number of infinite decimals that cannot be measured those decimal quantities is a big mistake if we add because define the unit between n and n the matter and the antimatter define this unit in reference of matters kilogram and second so define this unit the part that is multiple of the unit is multiple because of the part that is sub-multiple we cannot add this and this thinking that so we are more precise no, we make the same big mistake to count only the presence of matter in a wave adding also the latching part since in one wave it is but it is in one wave that contains the matter and the matter latching, the antimatter. So, in this way, 
the physics is unified and if the scientists do not use my unification it is only the reason of the absolute latching of communication between the students of the physics. The physics the physics the physician believe that only them can be the men who have the knowledge of the physics. No. Also one architect as I am is able to say its specific ability since the space and the perspective is a thing that is known and considered more by an architect than of a physician. A physician does not know what is the decimal perspective of the reality, but it is, because where every is in a balance between this part and this other, we introduce a perspective since the unit is perceived as 10 and so we have the score of our vision that is 10 multiplied 10. In this way we obtain a real perspective and the balance between 10 and the 10 rise to minus 1 that are equal. The difference is only the positive plus 1 index of one and the negative index minus 1 of the other. This only is the difference. But when we present these in the form of this other, we have to invert it and 10 becomes one tenth and we have this plane in which the part bigger is justified by the part that is decimal. We cannot add this to this and this is the biggest mistake that today compel the physics to be not unified.